all good things must come to an end. The penultimate and the final episode of Sun Until I Die, Series 2. Uh, for the Macrams that may still be watching, may still be disliking, penultimate means second last. So, yeah. Fifth and sixth episode of the second series. Good, it's over. Starting off with the Brexit rally here. Well, Sullivan's never going to be in Europe, are they? Have you ever seen a Mac in Milan? No, you fucking haven't. We're in Oxfordshire. We're at Stuart Dolan's house. He obviously doesn't live in Sunland. Why would he? Nobody wants to. Nobody in Sunland wants to live in Sunland. The new owner from Oxfordshire definitely not going to move there. The players don't even move there. They all live on the quayside. We get an investor. Yeah. Or we have to sell. Stuart Donald on Dragon's Den. Looking for an investor for 40% of his company. Yeah, you can see an absolute shit show of a town, an absolute shit show of a stadium, an absolute shit show of the club. Please invest. Not gonna happen. I'm out. Yeah. Peter Jones, Deborah Meaden. Don't wanna know. Check a trade trophy. Oh, yes, the show known as 21 game. Can you hear the Jordies? Can you hear the Prata fans? Wait there, let's just stop this for a second. This shows how far Sunderland have fallen that the derby now is against Newcastle boys. Sunderland's first team against Newcastle's under 21s in the Czech Trade Trophy. That's the level they're at. Ah, uh, Reapin, Reapin up. <laughs> Newcastle, it's all in here. One nil to the Matins. Sun and celebrating like it's a real derby, like you're playing against the first team. All the lads, they've got signs in the morning, nine o'clock. Way past the bedtime. Two nil to just imagine how embarrassing it would have been for Sunderland if they didn't win this game. Oh look, it's Sush back. Sush back Charlie. Give it at the beginning. Mate, you're beating a bunch of fucking kids. These lads aren't even old enough to drink this. Full time finished. Four out of Sunderland's first team. Against Newcastle boys. Oh, some of the fans got, got a same photo of Jack Ross in a frame and in the house. Up the a little bit weird, man. Um, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a trip to Wembley. Trip to Wembley? It'll be really, really good for the fans, for the club, for the, for the city. To, to win the Checker thing. Trade Trophy. The most so meaningless, the pointless trophy ever. Have a great Worse than the Total Cup. Semi-final, we'll be at Bristol. Bristol yeah, Rovers, yeah, not Bristol City. Get final, Just get that. I can't yeah, believe you're getting that excited over the Checker Trade Trophy. Seriously, I can't believe how excited they're getting over the Checker Trade Trophy. You guys fans were singing that in the fifth round win over West Brom in the FBA Cup. The only cup that should take you to Wembley. When we reached the quarterfinals against Man City. They're singing it. Oh, Bristol away. Check it, tree. We've done just it's a big deal. It's been a few years since we've been there. So I think this is the only thing keeping us going. Take play when we played Spurs away at Wembley, in it. When Spurs are waiting for the new ground to be built, it doesn't count as a trip to Wembley. Fucking check it, tree. A once a chance in a lifetime. Yeah. My twelve-year-old. Um, well, 12, yeah. He's got at least another 70 years of misery. When we're out there, regardless, I think, of whether we get tickets or not, we'll, still be going down we'll, we'll go down, yeah. Yeah, we'll go down, and then, just for the crack, the Trivago Square Party. Injection of £1 million, that's, that's really meaningful. I mean, it, it pays for half of Will Briggs. <laughs> pays for Will Briggs' left leg. Pays for half of Will Briggs. It should have been enough for full Will Briggs. And I don't have a problem with a big stake, but losing control. Thanks a big stake does, Stuart. Really Medium rare. Give them a little pep talk before they leave. They wouldn't dare come back right back up. Club chef in charge of the team talk, heading into Wembley. Joycey. Yeah, Joycey dishing out the uh, mashed potato and the tactics. 
the head of the game against Portsmouth. Oh my god. It's not a celebration of us getting promotion, it's more a celebration of the fact that. I wish you could see where I can see. Wembley, it's just the whole, it's just the this whole bloke's getting sun until I die, it's, uh, tattooed right face across face. his arm there. Massive, massive twat. Got a Netflix logo next to it as well, did they pay for it? Cameraman, tripping flat, did they? What the fuck? Cheers, here's to Wembley. Cheers, here's to Wembley. I can't quite believe they're going, actually. Here's to Wembley. This gets you on all over the world, this. Oh, all over the world, watching the Czech Trophy, yeah. Watching it in Dubai, America, Spain, every Barcelona are studying this game very hard and picking the next talent between Sunderland and Porto in the Czech Trophy. Who's going to replace Messi? Will it be 09? Number 13? Will Greg, will he cut it at the Bernabeu? Well, we want me to find out. Watch the Czech Trophy Trophy. Oh, there's Sunderland Porto. 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 Oh, of course. He'd give both his legs and his left arm to win the Czech Trade Trophy. What is going on here? Can't get me here to ruin it. Fair enough, it was the FA Cup, man. It's the Czech Trade Trophy. Portsmouth, yeah. They've been at Wembley before. Won the FA Cup. Won a real trophy. Yeah. The Wanku Kornu. Hmm. Pedro Mendes, Sol Campbell, yeah. Nico Crankio, Jermaine Defoe, Peter Crouch. The list goes on. Hi Redknapp, the, the lovely team, used to watch, like watching them on Match of the Day. I suddenly was one sponsored by Diodora, that's lifted! McGeady, look at him, he's, he's magnificent. A bit of a stretch, that is. Uh, if he was magnificent, he certainly wouldn't be playing in the Czech Trade Trophy with Newcastle boys. He's good though. Probably too good for that level. Maybe a championship player. The Sheffield Wednesday. Here he is again. He's the he's the star. He's fouled again. It's in. McGeady gives him the lead. I know the result, but I can't remember the score. And I wasn't sure that that happened, to be honest with you. Oh, I do know what happens, do I? I think I remember now. I think I was in the Merrison when this game was on. I don't think I watched it live. Yes. Danish ball in. Back post. Oh, Porto have put it over. Swish back getting told off of his missus or whoever it is, his sister, I don't know, probably both. He's just, you know, he's just not known her. But uh, uh, he started kicking off and just like, you've got to calm down. There's too much rest on this. This is the check I trade trophy, darling. Never made the Champions League. Oh, terrible football, terrible defending. Both have won. Sullen won. They have. It's mental that by some of them just sitting back inviting Portsmouth to create chance after chance. The entire second half. <laughs> Charlie switched back, swearing his heat off. Hands on our. He's misses like, oh, Johnny, calm down. Yeah. Underneath, right. Chill out. There's too much riding on it. Check it trade. 2 1 Portsmouth. I thought this went to penalties. And may too, still. 2 1 Porter for an extra time. McGeady. Who else? I thought we had a penalty this game. You would have thought someone scoring right at the death there. We'll give them the momentum. We'll see. 30 managers. Catamo. Saved. Jay Bart would have scored that. Kevin Owen would have scored that. Sure, I'm Obi. Definitely would have scored that. Portsmouth seal the winning penalty. And the prestigious worldwide watched Check a Trade Trophy. Now they've got the Wembley. They didn't get the trophy. Waste of time. What was the point in that? Yeah. 
they go to KFC, getting told they've got no chicken left. You gotta stay at home, Sullivan fans. You gotta stay down with your side. Uh, enjoy, enjoy your holiday, though. Yeah. Enjoy your day out. Yeah. Foster's at Trivalga Square. Oh, lovely. It's up to the manager to look deep inside himself and his coaching staff and ask some really tough questions. Good, yeah. Doesn't know about that, does he, Johnny? Series 2, Episode 6 Football is Life. This is the end. The end of the road. It's been a pleasure. Let's enjoy. The finale. We're back in League One, Southern Three, Coventry Three at half time. We're by far the greatest team the world has ever seen. You're drawn 4 4 at home to Coventry and you've just been beaten in the Checker Trade Trophy by Portsmouth. You're not even the greatest team in the Checker Trade Trophy. The world has seen better Checker Trade Trophy teams. Coventry. Wow, 5 4. What a game! It'll be first on match of the day, if they were in the Proctor League. It'll be first on Spike TV, wasn't it? No. Five. Five extra, I don't know. That's called what's it? it might be. It'd stay up number half on the morning and find out. Watch the Football League. I was in Tesco yesterday with my missus and a newborn baby. And a bloke came up to me and started slagging me about the game on Saturday. And it was just completely out of the blue. I said, excuse me. And he just said... What happened Saturday? I was like, oh, it's just one of them games. He said, oh, well, it's not, it's not fucking good enough, is it? It's got a point. Actually, like, well, I am trying. So I'm just shit. It's difficult. That's why I'm a league one with a shit team. Rob look, yeah, just trying to get his, uh, get his five a day. Get his shopping in. Each and every time you He's getting rinsed by some of the fans in Tesco. Of, of Still home delivery, mate. Yeah. And each and every time you do it. Come to Newcastle, no one will recognise you there. My job this week is to... Win a football match. Not conceived five goals at home. Would be a good start, Jackie. With three games remaining, Sullen need to win every game and have a chance to secure an automatic promotion to the championship. Sullen take the lead against Portsmouth. Flanagan as well. See that grief he got in Tesco waved. I knew that it was going to be. Should lift his shirt up and. Show the picture of the bloke in Tesco. But just the logo Tesco, just so the bloke new. Yeah, <laughs> one one. You can see in the players and the fans, everyone's gave up. Everyone's just like, nah, it's not happening. We're not finishing the top two. Ten men, one no Sunland. <clears throat> Big first leg win over Pompey, over Porter. To try and get in that playoff final. Don't mind me, I'm just uh, unbelievable cooking. Ah. It was yeah. tough. Some fried chicken baguette. They stood up and they were men. Chicken strips, lettuce. Levi Roots, Reggie Reggie I'm sauce. Sure it, Tremendous. <laughs> Seeing the fan reactions there coming out of the stadium late. Where's where's SFC Fan TV? Huh? Where's Sunderland Fan TV? Why haven't they been given a part on this? I wonder. Sean Middleton. Well, Hi, my name's Sean Middleton. He uh, retweeted one of our things yesterday. And then Where is he? Why hasn't he got his um, moment of shine on Netflix? Like injection, just to play. Sure, I don't know, can't help yourself. Against his missus' wishes, he's batting the crowd, back amongst the fans <laughs> for the game at points with. Gotta respect that, like, I think that's great crack, but his missus is right that if they get beaten this game, it could turn sour, it could turn nasty. Because that would obviously mean Sullivan would be stuck in League One for another season. And here with the brunt of the shit. Another trip to Wembley for the Markhams. Newcastle, England. There's the key side. There's the Time Bridge. There's the Prater Bridge. There's the Millennium Bridge. There's two Prater Bridges. <coughs> he has the Markhams at Central Station. Ah, get in, lads. They're getting booed from the pub opposite. Oh, it's just, why are you hanging a flag up on the train? It gets your train. You oh, fucking weird. You're donning the scarf across the back. It gets your bedroom. It's just two fucking seats on a train. Get the Kiplings out. Where's the Mr. Kiplings? What's it say on there, Dave? Deliver us. Football blogging on World's Train 18. Represent. Award winning. The promotion prayer. <laughs> the promotion prayer. Jesus Christ. As we come together. Need everything we can get, Sonnen. Second time in the season, Sonnen have got to Wembley. Let's see how this one plays out. Now I do remember this one. I was in the local pub watching this one. And I had a winning bet on it as well. 
just a little reminder that the manager of Charlton, Sunderland's opposition today, is Lee Boyer, ex Newcastle United midfielder Lee Boyer. Now, do remember this Sunderland were gifted the opener. Look at that back pass. Keep that misses it. Sunderland were gifted a 1 0 lead. They didn't have to touch the ball. The defender passed it back, but went underneath the keeper's legs. How was that for a gift? How was that for a start? Didn't even have to touch the ball. Early on, own goal. You've got a 1 0 advantage. What are you going to do with it? Lovely goal by Charlton, 1 1. You, <laughs> this Netflix thing, you'd think it was scripted, man. Johnny Williams. The one who featured in the first series of Sullen Till I Die comes on for Charlton. But Sullen's main man, Ian McGeady, comes on. Should bring Josh Meyer on. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute, he's in France. In a proper league. Yes, Greg. Like, come on, Greg, do something. Three million pounds. You only with three quid. Oh, McGreedy, miles away. Woo! Ta-ra! Then look back. Oh, yeah, say that one. Hey, the cross goal. Awful defending. It's bobbling all over. Up the Charlton Athletic. Oh, it's off Flanagan and in. It's 2 1 Charlton in the 90 plus minutes. At the death. That's all over. Sunderland. Staying. In League One. The whistle. Oh, Netflix, I love you. I'm saying Netflix, I love you. This is real life. Thanks, Netflix, for just reminding me. This was real life. Lee Boy as Charlton beat Sunderland at Wembley to reach the championship. Sunderland stay in League One. Sunderland lost the Czech Trade Trophy at Wembley. Oh, you couldn't make it up, Sunderland, till I cry. That way, if he's crying. Yeah. Tears. Oh, brilliant stuff. <laughs> Sunderland fans. I've never. Good job I don't want to go in Sunderland, because uh, if I did. I'd, I'd be I'd be murdered within minutes. Something with that team, that wage bill, should have got promoted, blew it, bottled it, absolutely bottled it. I really hope it was a series three. So until you die, League One till you die. I do miss the derby days though, can't I? First thing you look for in the calendar, innit? I'd love to play Sullivan again. But this is still funny. Well, congratulate Charlton. Wish them well in the promotion. Cheers, Boya. Congratulations. Cheers, Sullivan. Cheers, entertainment. This club cannot be in the third division of English football for three years. That, that but it is. is not acceptable. Next season, the club has to win this title, win this championship, and do it in comfortable fashion. Well. We'll see about that, won't we? I really hope they're still behind the scenes. I think we should have done better. I don't want the following season to be as bad as this one again. We want it to be even worse. I won't outstay my welcome. The fans will tell me, and I'll stay as long as they want me to. Wish mate actually had that same attitude. That was it. That's still until I die. Season two. All banter aside, great series. Great to see. Behind the scenes of a club, the trials and tribulations, the drama, the fans, the management, the players, everything. Great to see. I would love to see a Newcastle version of that. Yeah, a bit more successful, than we've got. at least it would be in the Premier League. But I do like that. I do like Stuart Donald. And yeah, let me know what you thought. Subscribe to my channel TV and enjoy yourself.